Hello, my name is Anastasia Demianko and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company I work for today. I work for Hyatt Hotels Corporation. The headquarters are located in Chicago, Illinois, but there are many hotels, a bunch of them, located all around the world. So what the corporation does when they open a new hotel in a new location is that they don't send uh, workers from US because it is a US based company they rather gather the locals to help out because they already know the language and they can train them to become receptionists like me what good about the hotel business is that all skills are welcomed if you know a different language if you are good at maths you can either go to represent the face of the hotel straightforward and work as a receptionist like I did or you can get a job, a place in the sales department or finance department. There are a lot of ways that um, this business uses people and their skills. And if you don't have any skills at all, you can become a maid. The hotel industry is basically a service business. They provide you with not a feasible product that you can take away with you. It's more of a, a shelter. And the most obvious competitors in this business are other companies like Hyatt, uh, Radisson Blue, Hilton, Holiday Inn, any other hotel business that takes away the customers and provides a better care is a serious threat to Hyatt. Hyatt has a very high turnover, but over the last couple of years, the profits have been decreasing. For example, in 2017, they have earned the highest that they have ever in their history, uh, 985 millions of dollars in a year. But after that, in 2018 and 2019, the numbers have been decreasing. 979 million, 943, and it's no wonder that 2020 is going to be a big hit for them. The way Hyatt functions is from a functional structure. You cannot easily go to the CEO of the company and tell him your ideas. You have to first email your uh, manager, then the manager tells the um, manager of the entire hotel and only after that the manager of the hotel can directly contact the leader of the entire company. Hyde Regency caters to business lifestyle. Uh, everything a businessman needs it has to be fast and on the go and when they get back to the hotel they want to relax, they want to eat, they want to get in shape. So Regency Hyatt has all of that. A restaurant, a jacuzzi spa center and a gym. While a lot of people think that there's only one type of market that the hotels try to serve to, for example the travelers, an obvious guess, uh, Hyatt has extended that and opened a, diff a bunch of different branches and types of hotels to serve as many customers and as many needs as possible. For example, the name Andaz Hyatt incorporates culture and lifestyle of the location where it's built, so the travelers can feel the most impact during their journey. The Ziva Hyatt is more for relaxing and running away from stress in everyday life. You can completely cut yourself from the world. Hyatt House is built for travelers that plan to stay for a very long time and the main difference between this type of hotel and every other is that Hyatt House has inbuilt full kitchens and a laundry facility on site. Thank you very much for your attention.